And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Samara Kokinos. Welcome back to Channel 5 News this morning. Your time is 6.43. We're starting with a live look outside courtesy of Sky 5 here in Westlaco. And you see the cloudy sky is all across the valley. We're actually here in the mid valley. Same thing for the upper valley and more clouds are building into the lower valley as we speak. Now temperatures, what you don't see is that warm and humid setup to the day. We're at 76 degrees outside with a southeast wind at 8 miles per hour. So let's take a look at future track. I'm going to walk you hour by hour starting at 6 this morning. And notice that the cloudy skies will remain in place for a few hours before they start to break apart just after mid morning. And then we're going to see a decent amount of sunshine for the afternoon. This is 4 o'clock and it looks like maybe just a few high clouds left over. Really not too much cloud cover to keep the sun away. So here is a look also at the wind speed chart because that's something else that's going to change mid morning. So here's the here's the trend. We go from light winds to about 9 30 10 o'clock. That's when the winds start to pick up out of the south southeast rather 9 to 18 miles per hour with winds gusting up near 25 and even 30 miles per hour for the majority of the afternoon. Here you go. 74 will warm up to 89 by noon. 93 is your forecast high falling back to 90 for your drive time home. Still very breezy even in the overnight hours, especially as we go into tomorrow. That's where things are going to change a little bit more. We're going to see gusty winds, but they're going to be rather gusty for the majority of the valley. And unlike today where we'll have that range of 9 to 18 tomorrow, it's going to be more like 10 to 15, maybe even 20 miles per hour with the winds gusting at 30 miles per hour for the majority of the valley. So it's something that's going to continue to pump in that lower level moisture. A surface front will make its way close to the valley, but it's going to fizzle out before it gets here. So it doesn't bring us a whole lot of rain chances and that heat is definitely going to continue even as we head into the weekend. So let's look at your rain chances. We'll put Wednesday morning at about 10%, otherwise mainly dry, and that 10% will fizzle out fairly quickly. So if you're headed out to the ride of silence that e Wednesday evening in Harlingen, uh, it should have a good amount of sunshine out there with temperatures pretty warm at that hour near 91 and your legs are going to get a workout folks. We're talking about winds gusting in the 30 mile per hour range at that hour and it'll stay rather breezy with partly cloudy skies by 8 o'clock that night near 86. That event is over at 9 o'clock that, that night. So if you are doing any boating today, it will be rather choppy on the bay for now. We're looking at a moderate chop this morning. Near shore waters two to three feet. Fishermen, you have a high tide today. It's at 9:33 this morning. There are no advisories and a low rip current risk in place. So let's look at your valley high temperatures city by city. 84 on the island to 90 in Brownsville. 93 in Westlaco and Raymondville. 92 for you in Harlingen. Two hot spots today. That's McAllen and Rio Grande City near 97. Edinburgh not that far behind near 95 degrees. Here's your first one five seven day forecast. Partly cloudy skies will help keep temperatures near 74 overnight. We'll rebound to 93, humid and windy for tomorrow. By midweek, we're looking at 96 degrees, still very gusty and breezy each afternoon. We'll stay at 96 through the end of the work week. As we head into the weekend, it'll cool down a little bit, but not a whole lot. We're talking about 95 going to 92 for Sunday with partly sunny skies. Overnight lows will stay in the mid to upper 70s for the next seven nights. That's your updated first warm five forecasts.